Well, back home, and the government's hoping more landlords will open their doors to renters with pets by allowing them to charge tenants pet bonds. It would come on top of the usual bond for up to four weeks' rent to cover any damage caused by the animal. Political reporter Jamie Ensor has the details. Radar means the world to Kayla McElroy, supporting her after a breakup and a stillbirth. Donald Radar, he was pretty much the only thing at the time I had apart from friends and family, so he's just been always by my side from day one. But Kayla says finding a rental with a young boy and a dog hasn't been easy. She's been looking for a year and a half. Applying for houses non-stop, looking on Trade Me, Facebook, Facebook Market, and just as soon as they know you've got a dog, Kind of, no. The government today barking about its new idea for a more pet-friendly rental market. It's a, uh, a very... <laughs> Lady Hawk, shh. This is a very positive move uh, for renters in New Zealand. It's currently illegal to charge tenants more than four weeks' rent for a bond or provide any other form of security. There's a additional fear that many landlords have about the damage that pets can do. I would argue probably an unreasonable or almost irrational fear sometimes. But under the changes, which were a part of the National and Act Coalition Agreement, a landlord could charge an additional pet bond of up to two weeks' rent to anyone wanting their furry friend to live with them. Disability assist dogs would be exempt. The tenant would be liable for any pet damage beyond fair wear and tear and landlords can still say no, but on reasonable grounds, which ministers expect the Tenancy Tribunal will determine. We're delighted that the government's making a lot of steps towards uh, mitigating risks for landlords. Kayla says she'd pay a higher bond to have radar with her, but renting is already so expensive. That's a massive struggle. The government says today's announcements will also benefit people who find it difficult to escape abusive relationships because it takes so long to find a rental that allows pets. However, as a law change is needed as well as an update to the bonds database, it's unlikely pet bonds will be available until late next year. Jamie Ensor, News Hub.